Hey, welcome, it's Cassie. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a 4th of July cake roll and I think you're gonna love it, it's so cute. So the first thing you're gonna need is a pool noodle and I got mine at Dollar Tree. It's quite small though, the ones at Dollar Tree are pretty small. So if you want a bigger cake roll, um, you would wanna get a bigger pool noodle at somewhere else, a different store. So I'm just gonna cut off a section about the length that I want my cake roll to be. So I'm going to do mine like that. And then I'm going to cut off another slice, um, just about the size of a slice of, if you were going to slice the cake roll, um, I'm going to cut one like that. And then I'm going to cut another one like that. So two slices and then the um, cake roll. And I'm, I just used a kitchen knife to cut this. And this knife is really not very good and it cuts really easily. So don't worry about that. Um, so now we're going to cut this one of the slices into quarters. So I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down in here. Just a few little spots. And then I'm going to take one of the quarters and I'm going to squish it between my fingers and slide it down in there. So that's going to close up that hole so you don't see that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other end. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is get this more of a uh, get this more of a cake texture. So it's nice and foamy, but we need to be able to really have like so that it looks like a real cake. So I'm taking an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna start like picking at it to give it more texture. Okay, and now this we're going to, um, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm just going to make this so that it's like a slice off of here, uh, sitting next to it. So if you didn't want to bother with that, you don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and do that because I think it'll look really cute. So we're going to do the same thing here with one of the quarters. So you actually need three of those quarters. and then texture it up like we did the other one. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we need to cut an indentation for our little swirly part. Um, because I tried, I'll show you. See, this one I just put on top and I didn't texture the noodle either and it just looks completely fake. So um, I textured this one and then put uh, cut a line in so that I could stick the spackle down in there and it, it turned out way better. So we already have this line right here and we're gonna use that as part of the swirl. So we need just a spot going from the center to that. And then, so it'll go around there and then we need to cut into the outer part all the way around. So you can see, I can like stick my finger down in here now. So that's where we're gonna stick the spackle in and make our little swirly design. So do that on both ends and then on the slice as well. 
Be careful in the slice not to go all the way through either or else you're going to have a hard time. Uh, it's going to fall apart on you. Okay, so now um, we're going to paint the cake part. So I'm going to use red and blue. I mean, you can do this. This is for 4th of July, but you could do this for any uh, any flavor of cake that you want. I just wanted this to be festive since 4th of July is coming up. Now you can do this any design that you want, but I tried a couple different ways and it kind of turned out not so great. So um, what I ended up doing was I just did one color on the center and then one color on the outer section. And make sure um, you get down into those like crevices and stuff especially when you're using a different color than your pool noodle. Like the red isn't going to show that badly because um, the noodle is pinkish red color. But when I get to the blue part, I'm really going to want to make sure I get down into the uh, little grooves and things so that my pool noodle color doesn't show through. I forgot to show you guys the colors I'm using. So I'm using Royal Blue from Anita's and True Red from Anita's. Okay, I'm going to put these aside to dry and then I'm going to... Um, start getting some of my decorations ready. I'm gonna make some star shapes to go on the top of my little cake. So um, I'm gonna use Model Light. You can use Model Magic or any other foam clay that you like. So I'm gonna roll out my clay so that it is about the thickness of fondant. And then um, I like to dip my cookie cutters into some cornstarch just to help them not stick to the clay. And then just pull the clay away from the cookie cutters so that it doesn't stick back to your shape. And then you'll want to paint your stars. I've already coated these once with paint, so I'm going to do my second coat here. And I'm just using the same colors I used on the cake. And you don't need to do both sides. Just one side is good because the, the other side will be up against the cake. So put those aside to dry, and then we'll uh, start working with our cake again. Okay, so mine's not completely dry. It's better if you can use it when it's completely dry, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna move on here and probably have paint all over me, but I already do anyway. So, so the next thing we need to do is get our spackle ready. So I'm gonna use Fast and Final by DAP. That's my favorite spackle to use. You use whichever one you want. And as you can see, mine's already white. If yours is not nice and white like this, you're gonna wanna add some white paint to it. If it has a grayish tinge, definitely add some white paint to it. And then you need a piping bag. And you can put the piping bag over a glass if you want. I'm just gonna use my hand as my holder. And 
And you don't need to put too much of this in because we're just doing the swirls on both ends and then on the um, slice. So it's not a ton of spackle. And then um, we're gonna cut the tip off of this. So we don't need any kind of tip inside. We just need to um, use the bag. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. I don't want too much coming out at once. Since my um, cake is pretty small, I want, you know, I wanna be able to control the amount that I have. So then just push your spackle down to the end of the piping bag and twist the top. Okay, so I'm gonna find where I made the slit in the center and I'm gonna start there. So I'm putting my piping bag inside of there a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go all the way around. Okay, now it kind of doesn't look perfect. So I'm taking a popsicle stick and I'm just gonna kind of like press it how I want it. So now you wanna do that with the other end as well. Okay, so I got both ends done. Now I need to do the slice. Okay, so now we need to frost this. I'm gonna use a popsicle stick as my spatula to frost this. I'll start with the slice first. So I'm just gonna use the rest of what's in my piping bag. If you don't have any left in your piping bag, just put it on out of your container. I'm just, uh, don't wanna waste this, what's in my piping bag and it makes it a little easier to apply anyway. So then I'm just spreading it around. Be careful not to get your fingers in anything you did before. And then I'll just set it on my table to finish up this last little bit so I don't mess anything up. Now I didn't do the um, both sides of the slice because it'll be sitting on the table, but if you wanted to do both sides, you definitely can. So I have this on wax paper. Um, I'm gonna um, do this side of it and then I'm gonna just stick it onto the wax paper and that'll hold it in place while I'm doing the rest. I'm trying to get up on the sides right now too, uh, somewhat, cause it'll be easier to, to do it while I'm holding it than when it's sitting on the surface. So I'm just going to sit that down there and then I'll finish the rest here. Make sure that on the ends 
you have it like evenly spread around the edge. Okay, so I'm liking how this looks. Now, the other one I made, I did um, sprinkles and then the stars. I was thinking on this one, I'll do a drizzle. So all I did for this was I put the um, stars on into the spackle and then I just sprinkled my um, fake sprinkles on. So for this one, uh, we'll use, I have scribbles, shiny bright blue, 3D fabric paint, and then I have this Polymark bright red one. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but scribbles has red as well. Or uh, Tulip makes one, so you have some options. So to do the drizzle, you want to start squeezing before you get over your cake because if you squeeze right over, you're going to get a big blob. So start squeezing and then move across. Now we just need to put our little stars on. So just position them however you want. Push it down into the spackle. I like to start with the two big stars first and then I can place the smaller ones in between. And there's your cute little cake roll for the 4th of July. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, more than you ever know. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.